Freedom Force! Freedom Force is a really, really cool uh, real-time strategy uh, type game based on superheroes. Four colored comic book uh, superheroes, the type of superheroes I kind of like. Uh, when people were like happy to be superheroes. Um, I don't know where people got this idea that, you know, everybody with superpowers is supposed to hate his life afterwards and, and then stuff like that. So we're just going to start a new campaign here. An old man sits on a park bench thinking of a time shrouded in the past. His name is Frank Stiles, and he was once one of the brilliant young scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, the secret experiment that ushered in the wonders and terrors of an atomic age, was his work that helped secure America's position as the leader of the free world. But Frank's memories are tinged with bitterness, for he was thrown off the project when he accused one of his fellow scientists of being a communist spy. And now he sits in this park, every day feeling a little older, and a little more useless. Just a minute. I recognize that man. It's O'Connor from the Manhattan Project. They never did believe me he was working for the Reds. But who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind right. of secret exchange. I better move in closer for a better listen. Have you got the documents? Do you have my money? By Lenin's ghost. Is that all you Americans think about? The almighty dollar? Damn, I've been discovered. Idiot! You've been followed. Up to your old tricks, O'Connor? Do you know this capitalist fool? This is an itch I've been waiting to scratch for 20 years. We ah! must flee before we are discovered. Come on! Bullet! Entered my heart, fading fast. Wait, statue of the Minuteman, glowing, as if it were calling out to me. Power surging into me. Ah, I am growing younger, body bursting with strength. Feel like I could lift a thousand pounds. That statue must have been hit with some fantastic kind of energy, but it's fading. It must have completely transferred it into my body. I don't know what will come from all of this, but I must use these new powers to help my country fight her enemies within and without. Those Reds might have killed Frank Styles, but they're about to meet a Minuteman. I really wish he'd change his name, but anyway. Running a costume to protect his identity, Minuteman searches for the treacherous O'Connor. Perhaps that double-crosser left some clues in this park to his whereabouts. To get information about playing the game, click on the glowing okay, sign. Classic comic, you're not supposed to ask this type of question, right? So let's see here. What does it tell us here? Look at that. Objects and people who you can click on in order to get more information are marked with a red exclamation point. Follow the yellow arrows to learn more about the game. If you already know how to play, follow the oh, red arrow. Hit the O key to see your objectives. Catch okay. O'Connor makes perfect sense. I like how they make everything and everything like that, that's kind of cool. When you left click on an enemy, you execute your default attack. Try it on the thug ahead. For freedom! Haha, uh -huh, one shot. The status bar in the bottom right shows details on the target object. Move the pointer over the thug ahead to examine him. Point, 170 pounds, hoodlum armed with a baseball bat. All right, thug with a bat. For justice! For, For Patriot City! Oh, now I'm stunned, I guess, huh? I'll smash you good! Six. For Patriot City! No more! I'll squeal! 
This thug has surrendered. Left click on him to interrogate. I don't know where O'Connor is, but Louie might know. He's down on Concord Street. All right. Right click on a target to bring up the command menu. Right makes might! <laughs> or justice! When using the command menu, the status bar shows details on each option available. Strike for freedom is weaker than smash. But it hits so multiple enemies. Freedom, and that will at least disperse them. Right makes might for freedom. Oh. Yeah, you like that? Okay, cool. The purple bar on your portrait shows how much energy you have. Minuteman will stop attacking when he runs out of energy. You can force him to keep attacking, but this may stun him. Be careful. Try striking this boulder to pieces. You may run out of energy while doing so. All right, let's try to break the boulder. For For freedom! For freedom! Energy X canisters can restore your energy or give you other bonuses. Next objective, Parker here. Check how much energy a power will use from the energy bar attached to the command menu. Be careful when it flashes. All right, let's go to the next one, see what we got. You can hold down the right mouse button and drag the command menu around. This makes it easier to target moving enemies. Try it now. Okay, that makes sense. We'll do it that way there. Trying to attack that lady or something. Right makes might! You saved me! Thank you. You can change your default left click attack by clicking the default power button in the lower left. Set it to strike for freedom before attacking these thugs. For justice! For Patriot City! To victory! Set your default attack back to smash if you want to avoid running out of energy by accident. You can talk to everyday inhabitants of Patriot City by clicking on them. They may have interesting things to say. Who is that guy? Looks like trouble. The streets ain't safe no more. some objects as weapons. Try using a traffic light as a club. Left click to swing or select Smackdown on the command menu. Time for some clobbering. For freedom! Come on! I'll squeal! Right, right. Might. Let's see what this guy has to say. All right, all right. Finny's down at the cafe. He'll know where O'Connor is. Right. You get prestige by completing objectives. Prestige can be used to attract new heroes to your team. Okay, Hey, sweetie, hand over the greenbacks. Leave me alone. Ain't you got no manners? Battle of victory! Oh, please, For man. justice! Oh, darn it, come on, get him. Right makes might! You saved me! You Thank me. you. What was our secondary objective? Oh, rescue victims. 
something hugger is okay. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, what else is back here? Oh, look, there we go. That's why you gotta look around. The healing bonus. We can use that, man. I'll tell you what. Alright, fully healed. Anything else working around here? Any dark recesses of humanity? No. What a silly boy. You can choose a defensive power from the command menu. National Guard will help you approach these thugs safely. Ready for anything! On guard! Daddy, huh? I can't take it! How about a lazy? For justice! Too much. Hopeless! For justice! Oh, don't feel so Right makes might! Oh, that's smart! You can pick up some objects to throw them at enemies. Try picking up a car. Now, left click to throw, or select throw from the command menu. Oh, that's smart. So it's Guard again. Ready for anything. Some of your characters will be able to take the high ground. Left click on the roof to jump up and defeat this enemy. Time for some pain! Hey, you. Help me! Get out of here! I can't More take Patriot it! Patriot City! No. If you right-click on a power in the command menu, you can increase intensity to do more damage. For freedom! Yeah. I gotta get out of here! Stand back, villain! High intensity attacks use more energy. Lower intensity attacks do less damage but use less energy. Red energy X canisters restore health. I feel refreshed and ready for battle. Bring them on! Uh-oh. Avoid damaging buildings or hurting civilians, or you will lose prestige. Green Energy X canisters give you experience bonuses to upgrade your character. More Energy X flowing into me! I feel more capable, stronger! They'll never stop me now! You can pause the game by hitting the spacebar. Hey, Louie told me you'd be coming. I'll take care of you. For justice! Get out of here! All right, I'll spill the beans. I give up. The boss just told me to keep you busy. I don't know who this costume do-gooder is, but I bet he can't survive an exploding oh, God, building. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Time 
Sorry for some pain. Stand back, villain. For Patriot City. To victory. That's enough. I give in. O'Connor is down for the count. You can interrogate him now. Time for a chat, my little red friend. Dead end, O'Connor. Time to face the music. Who are you? What do you want from me? Where did your pal go with the stolen documents? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a long way to the ground, O'Connor. You're all talk, Flagface. Stay back. Me or the street trader, you choose. Okay, okay. You'll find them down at the old Wilson Paper Warehouse on Benjamin Franklin Boulevard. You look tired, chum. Why not take a little nap? That was for Frank Stiles. Flush with his first victory, Minuteman heads downtown, unaware that he is watched all the while. He is coarse and untrained, but perhaps there is potential there. But potential for what? What mysterious plans are afoot for our hero? And who is this new mysterious figure on the scene? These are questions that time alone can answer. This is your chance to train Minuteman. Visit the team screen by left-clicking on the team button. Here you can train characters by spending character points. You gain character points each time you level up. Levels are gained by acquiring experience points for going on missions. Select Minuteman to see how many CP and XP he has. Then click the train button. All right. Okay. Character points can be spent to buy new attributes or powers. Click the power tab and buy Minute Missile. You'll need to level up Eternal Vigilance first. that power okay give you a description of medium damage projectiles attack that strikes all those in range okay cool eternal vigilance what does that do a passive defense that gives a 50 oh okay it's good for like projectiles that's cool national guard energy field that protects projectile attacks at a nearby enemy that's cool strike for freedom causes an melee attack to do triple damage yeah that's nice um, yeah, what happens if I do that? Okay. What if I do that? Okay. The power screen shows you details on a power. Oh, so it gives you a bigger success rating the more you go up, I guess, or something like that. Hmm. Let's view that as well. Oh, very high chance to stun. Okay. But it shows you the animation and stuff too. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. Now, visit the database in order to gather information on your foes. Here, you can examine enemies for strengths and weaknesses. Details, I guess. 
Pistol shot, punch, stats. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, spy working on Manhattan Project. Oh, okay, cool. Now proceed to the next mission by clicking on the mission briefing button. Don't forget to save the game first. Here. Yeah. Freedom Force save. There we go. Let's delete that game. Oh, I got some old save games in here, I guess, from when I was doing some testing or something like that. So we're going to do that. Save it. There we go. And uh, we'll be back in the next video to continue the adventures of Minuteman.